have you ever heard of a slaughter? I oughta start dipping, sipping on that ST gets me to tripping. I don't slip, I bangs with that mad ass dog pound gang. It's a DPG thing. Corrupt from the SC. You wanna test me? When you gonna put me up on one of your videos or something? You know I can still get out. Check this out. Welcome back to another episode of Rose and Gold. I'm your host, International King, and this is my lovely co host, Dr. Ross. Hello, everyone. We want to start off today with the one you've been waiting for all this time. It is finally time for the, for the She's, She's Hot Contest. contest. Our, winner today, today Our winner for today is winner for today is none other than Miss Ruby Rose, the Australian model. Congratulations, Miss Ruby Rose. She first was seen presenting for the Australian MTV Music Awards and then became the face of Maybelline, but she is known as an Australian actress and model, and she is gorgeous. Exactly. So congratulations to Miss Ruby Rose for our next She's Hot winner, because you guys voted for it, and now she's become our new winner, so she'll get sent the trophy like the rest of our winners. The hourglass figure. Exactly. But Miss Ruby Rose, we want to congratulate you on your win on the She's Hot contest. Congratulations. And remember, everyone, if you want to compete, make sure to leave your votes down below, and if right. you think you have what it takes to be in the next She's Hot contest, leave a picture and leave it down below in our Instagram and our direct messages. Exactly. But the She's Hot winner only the She's Hot winners only get chosen out of the best of the best. The and A we want to say there are millions and millions of people exactly. across the world sending things to us globally. Yep, so from make sure Playboy to submit. International sponsor. Exactly. Let's get into these hot topics but once again, congratulations to Miss Ruby Rose. Congratulations. Let's get into our first hot topic for today with Inside the Friends Reunion with director Ben Winston. You know, I heard Mr. Ben, um, the director, he kept saying over and over when they first made the um, Friends and then now following the reboot, he just kept saying the cast is so perfect. He's never found a cast that's so, they match their characters so well. Maybe yeah, reason, it's because the characters are them. The re that's the exact reason why, Dr. Ross, because exactly. all of them, if you sent them back home, they'd be doing the exact same thing. Exactly. Now, I like myself a bit of Friends from time to time, but I see the show as very simple. Dr. Ross could direct the brand new Friends. That's right, for the reboot. And Jennifer Anderson needs to stop complaining and whining about how she wants Brad Pitt to come back to the Friends. Um, I believe he was a guest. He was a guest star that came on there once, and now Jennifer Anderson is saying that he wants to come. she wants him to come back there. Everyone's and saying they miss them. And Dr. No. Ross, speaking about people who aren't going to be in the Friends reunion, Cole Sprouse and Paul Rudd actually aren't going to be in the reunion. You know, for Cole Sprouse, the Sprouse twins, they were, we've already, they've already made their money. They're probably relaxing right now because the Dylan Sprouse, Cole Sprouse, we saw them first when they were teenagers in their uh, Disney Channel show, The Sweet Life on Deck. So, and Cole Sprouse was recently on a show called Riverdale. So they've made enough money. They're set for now, so they're just relaxing. Exactly, Dr. Ross. They've made theirs. They're enjoying life. So that's the reason why they probably didn't accept this invitation to the brand new Friends reboot. Exactly. But this and I just hear leaves... Dylan's having a little bit of problems. But, but, but Dr. Really Ross, this just leaves like two it. more spaces for Dr. Ross and IK. Exactly. Make sure to contact us, friends. We'd love to be in your reboot. Let's get into our next hot topic with... If you haven't known, Cruella and A Quiet Place 2 recently came out. We're oh, both going to yes, be watching yes, those yes. films and giving you an in-depth review. That's right. Like but, we do with every single movie, we tell you the review and our explanation on it. But, you know, I'm I'm more excited for The Quiet Place 2 than I am for Cruella. Cruella, and, I just want to see the costumes and what they did with the uh, screenwriting. And with Cruella, we're both going to watch it still. Yeah. It just seems like it's not going to be as good because Emma Stone... Dr. Ross could have played the role better. Exactly. Emma Stone just we love Emma Stone, that. but it's a um, different type of role for exactly. Emma Stone. Angelina Jolie would have been better, but the only thing you know she would have been asking for the for the paper. And they already spent enough on the costumes, designs, and whatever else they spent on. Oh yes, Emma Stone was actually saying that they have over 200 outfits for this brand new film. Wow. That's that's show business. Let's get into the next hot topic. Our next hot topic is with. Kate Middleton actually gets a COVID-19 shot. Hmm. The only thing is, the royal family, I have no sympathy for them. Uh, you know, no cheering them on if they get um, any of the vaccine shots or any of those things. Because they have 20 doctors that are there for them 24-7 maintenance. So, 
It's kind of a different scenario for them, but... They're bigger than money, bigger than life. Exactly. She didn't really need to get the vaccine, because like I said, multiple doctors, but... And everyone's like, taking it right now. Let's get into our next hot topic. With Marvel fans have the best response to Paul Rudd not being in the Friends reunion. Hmm. I don't know what to say about this. It's basically just fans over speculating about different actors and whether they want to go in different shows and different shows. They have enough money so they can pick and choose what they want to do and if they want to redo the reboot of Friends, they can do that. If they don't, go on to Marvel. My, but my I can't always available. My question is why there are Marvel fans. <laughs> Our next hot topic is with Jay Z reveals he boycotted the Grammys because. You know what? A lot of celebrities have been trying to boycott the Grammys. Uh, Kanye, by peeing on his Grammys, I don't know how many Grammys they've given him, like 20, 10, 15, who knows? And um, he recently, they gave him some more Grammys this year for his Christian album, which I don't know why they, he would even get nominated for something and win something in an award show where he just completely disrespected them by just, he shouldn't even get the award is my and, thing, but And Jay-Z Jay -Z, Jay -Z saying he boycotted it because they disrespected DMX. One thing I have to say, DMX probably didn't give a F about if he got a Grammy. Exactly. Second of all, Jay-Z, stop acting up. You, you literally got the Grammy and said, this is a new sippy cup for my daughter, Blue. I know, we all heard that. That's another thing to disrespect the Grammys, you using it as a sippy cup for your baby. But, you know, maybe he was throwing some shade. But a lot of these celebrities, my only thing that I have to say is, if they don't like an award show, don't show up to it. Send a message to that award show saying, don't nominate me, don't send me an award. Do that. Go it that way and go on with your go on with your life. Exactly. Don't just ruin don't, it for the rest of the people that just are just don't go. Ah! Ah! These were all of our hot topics, but we want to say congratulations to our winner for today, Miss Ruby Rose. Congratulations, Miss Ruby Rose. Contest. Exactly. Before we close it off, we do want to say for Miss Lunell, she was really, really amazing. We, um, If you didn't see it on our Instagram, which our Instagram will be right here, at rosengold.us, um, we met Miss Lunell. She's a very fantastic person, really, really nice. We love Miss Lunell. We really do. She was at the um, Beverly Hilton. She looks better in person than on camera. Exactly. And that's a compliment. We were going to a meeting and we ran into her, but... Ms. We'll Linnell. see you down the road, Miss Linnell. Miss Linnell, we want to we want to just say keep on doing you. And I may not be old enough yet, or Dr. Ross will be soon. But we'll see you at the next comedy club here. That's right. Let's Other close that, it up, Kylie up. Jenner. That's for you. We hear some scandal maybe going on, but we'll leave it at that. We're out. We'll see you in the next episode. I do have a name, you know. It's Paul. Whatever. You want another drink or what? It's paid for. Let's go back to Queens.